Um, by four, is that good? Yes. Okay. okay, we are live. We're on. Ideally, we are on. We're only 13 minutes late. So, hi, everybody. My name is Keith Vashon. Um, there we go. My name is Keith Vashon, keithvashon.com, and uh, I've got Danielle Zirkelbach here. Hi everyone. Hi. Yeah, right now it's showing zero viewers, but if they rewind this, they'll see all this. <laughs> so cool. here we go. All right. So yeah, I think um, what I'm going to need to do is uh, I've got you on the screen, and I just need to uh, let everybody know to click refresh, and that should take care of everything, and everybody will be uh, up to date, so to speak, on this. There we go. Okay, let me click uh, find the comments. Oh, we have one viewer, so I think they're they're starting to catch on. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I think it, I think it's Roger. Roger was helping me out. Roger, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we are here. We're live. Um, and Danielle, yeah, Danielle Zirkelbach, my guest. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on, and uh, we have so much to talk about. So we'll just wait. Uh, we've got three viewers now, so we'll just wait uh, for it to pick up a little bit as far as giving the little housekeeping uh, rules and things like that about the chat. But for now, um, you know, we, we've you've got a couple of prints you're going to be giving away later, huh? That's right. I do. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I have, we'll let, uh, uh, water drives yeah. nature. It's a pretty cool one. It's, it's one that's like pretty much in demand, so people like it a lot. Nice. So, yeah, so, yeah, it's gonna be a good nice. time. <laughs> yeah. So we had uh, some, as we say, technical difficulties getting started, but uh, hangouts tech tend to go that way. So we are here. We are live, and uh, what I am doing now is uh, getting ready. And so, yeah, a couple of things now. We've got. Um, We've got the chat that is down below. You're watching this on what is called uh, 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 22 Social. It's an app that embeds it into Facebook page and also uh, embeds it into you can do it on your phone. So some folks are watching on their phone. Some folks are watching um, uh, you know, on their computer and their Facebook page, which is awesome. And uh, we really appreciate everybody being here. And below uh, in both my page and uh, Danielle's page we've got a chat box so what I would love for you guys to do when you have a second is go down into the chat box and let me know where you guys are watching from we really really appreciate that because I know uh, you have a lot of friends and family uh, Danielle in Florida yes mm hmm yeah uh, hi guys in Florida <laughs> And, uh, and and obviously you and I are both in Hawaii so um, yeah if you go to the chat box below guys let us know where you're uh, where you're coming from and keep in mind that when you're looking at the chat it's got a box that says auto refresh you can uncheck that because about every 90 seconds the chat refreshes itself and so if you're typing a long question for Danielle or anything else and it refreshes itself you're gonna lose it all you'll have to go back and you'll have to uh, type it all over again so you'll see that in the refresh button we've got uh, more viewers coming on right now so um, Danielle why don't, we, why don't we get started um, talking about um, yourself you know I had met you a few months ago and you were telling me your story we only had a few minutes to hear your story but why don't you start talking a little bit about um, how your life and your experiences go into your paintings okay cool yeah it's Basically, um, it all started long ago, you know, when I was in school. I always liked art, but I never really pursued it. And then when I was in college, I kind of did, but more was on the lines of getting a career when I got out of school. But it wasn't until um, I decided to move to Hawaii that everything really started to come together, and I just decided to go for it. Basically, everything that I'm doing is like a story from my life or... Um, has a motivation behind it from something that I've struggled with or overcome or I'm looking forward to. So it's definitely all my little stories on canvas for everyone to see. So it's it's fun to share. <laughs> now, do you ever um, talk to your friends and, and look at them and say, you know, you influenced this one. Hey, check this out. You had a part in this influence. Or is it more kind of um, overall that, you know, the stories all come together? Sometimes I do, definitely, but first when I release them, I like to get um, feedback and think if anyone can pick up on it, but 
I like to hide things too so that people have um, an interactive experience kind of like looking at it and telling me what they think and then um, compared to what it was but sometimes I do definitely and of course you know Sam is always um, one of my subjects so that's always been a big part of my inspiration doing this so but yeah sometimes I like to be mysterious and leave it up to people to figure it out <laughs> but, <laughs> So you mentioned Sam. Why don't you tell the audience who Sam is? Well, Sam is my fiance. He is the biggest um, inspiration in my work. Um, he pretty much helps me do everything, inspires me, and tells me when I'm doing things right and wrong. And you know, he's been a huge uh, reason that all of this has been coming together. So, yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Now, when was it that you actually moved to Hawaii? It was. Four and a half, almost five years ago, I think. <laughs> when you're an artist, everything just seems to melt together, and you're like, oh, last year, and it was like three years ago, and you're like, oh. Three years oh, ago. yeah. Well, I hear you. <laughs> I, you know, I went back to um, where I'm from in the Boston area and was hanging out with my cousins and stuff like that, and they're like, how long have you been in Hawaii? I'm like, I don't know, six, seven years, and I realized it was 2004. So I was like, oh, wow. Okay, oh. it's almost 10 years now that I've been in Hawaii. So, yeah, I totally understand yeah. what you're talking about with that. Well, you're on Hawaii time, too. So it's kind of like, I'll be there later. And then, like, two hours, like, oh, that really happened. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. So, um, you know, uh, we are sh we do have some viewers on right now. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, go over the chat again. We had some folks that jumped on. So I want to welcome you guys. My name is Keith Vashon. I know we have uh, Kurt. Kurt is on, Kirk is on, uh, Roger is on, Melody, thank you guys so much. Um, we got Mike, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We have, um, uh, Roger is in Ottawa, Ottawa, Canada, so that's cool, very cool up, uh, up north. We've got Kirk, Kirk Short is uh, in Kona, he's at home, awesome, thank you. Mike is in the UK, Manchester, UK, which is, uh, I believe it's probably about 11.30 or 12.30, so uh, Mike, definitely thank you so much for coming and uh, hanging out with us with, uh, with Danielle. And if you haven't already, if you uh, go down the bottom of your page, if you're on your computer, uh, we're using uh, what's called 22 Social, 22S. And if you go down the bottom, you'll see the chat, whether it's on my page or whether it's on Danielle's page. You'll see the chat down the bottom, and uh, you can follow along. And we'd love to uh, let us know who you are and where you're tuning in from. Appreciate that. We've got some uh, prints at Danielle. We're going to uh, do a little contest a little bit later on if you're on uh, live. So uh, we've got two that we're going to give away. We'll let you know how you can do that. And that will inv also involve the chat box. Now, with the chat box, if you didn't hear me say this a minute ago, um, it's got an auto refresh button. So uncheck the auto refresh button when you start doing your chat, uh, typing in what you want in your comment, because if it refreshes, you'll lose all that. So go ahead and uh, un uncheck the auto refresh button, type in what you got to type, hit enter or whatever, uh, reply, and then check it again. Then it'll auto refresh and you can keep up with what is going on with the um, with the chat. So yeah, once again, Danielle, uh, what, do you, what have you got going on today now that we're on uh, or leading up to today's chat? Oh, man, I went surfing this morning. It was really small, but I surfed. Uh, me and Sam went and tried, tried to surf. <laughs> but <Yeah>. then um, <laughs> just painting, painting, and getting ready to do this. Pretty excited, so it's kind of hard to concentrate. It's just, like, ready. <laughs> but it's been awesome. So. Cool. And I know, um, what was it? Uh, August or so when you were at Wyland Galleries in Kona? You were showcased there. Tell us about how that went. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. It was pouring rain, and it was a packed house. It was really overwhelming just to see how many people came and like showed support. And It was kind of one of those moments that I couldn't believe everyone was there for me, and I was just looking around, and I was like, oh, really? <laughs> it was pretty cool. Actually, Kirk, he's watching right now. He's actually a huge supporter, and he actually helped me get started, too. And He's a photographer that has taken some really awesome photos, so... Love you, Kirk. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, Kirk. Um, he's come in. I've I've uh, I met him a few years ago, actually. Great, great guy. And you know, he recently, wow. uh, quote unquote, retired. Which congratulations, <laughs> Kirk, for retiring. I know. Proud of him for that. <laughs> he's a great, great photographer. But he documented the whole Wyland thing for me, just because he's a great guy. You know, and didn't even ask one thing from me. I was like, oh my gosh, so sweet. <laughs> oh wow. 
Yeah. yeah, he's a great guy. And Kirk, you know, I, I'll put it out there right now that uh, you know I, I plan to do these uh, weekly, and you're definitely uh, somebody that I would love to have on, Kirk, and hear your story. Uh, yeah, I guess he's originally from New Jersey, and so Northeast, uh, fellow Northeaster. Uh, so Kirk, you keep that in mind. If uh, anybody else is uh, interested, if you know somebody that uh, might be good for the show, then uh, definitely drop me a line. You can go to my uh, Facebook page and uh, just drop me a line, and maybe you can nominate somebody to be on my weekly show. So. That's cool. And Danielle, it's so cool for you to come on. Uh, thank you again. No, thanks for having me. I'm just, when you asked me, I was just almost like passed out. I was like, really? <laughs> Did you get the right person? <laughs> like, me? <laughs> Oh yeah, because you know I, I see your work. As a matter of fact, you know there's a, a green button down below that has it links to your website, DanielleZerk.com, and um, I, you know I've seen a lot of your. Uh, paintings and they're amazing you've got a, it's just an amazing style to you and um, and, and your story too uh, which we'll get to in just a moment uh, but why don't you talk about um, uh, your website what you went through you just uh, recently revised it yeah I did I sure did it was a huge undertaking and I spent like two or three hours a day um, trying to get it all going but I have it now to where you can pretty much see a lot, of, all of my work and um, pictures of my lifestyle because part of what I'm doing is that, um, you know, I'm just not an artist, but I'm a lifestyle, like, um, can't survive without the ocean. And in fact, I would probably say that I'm more of an um, ocean outgoer than I am an artist. So that's like a huge part of who I am. So I wanted to embody the ocean and my art and make sure that it's, you know, it's like a marriage. It's like one can't be without the other. So that's a really big part of who I am. And uh, so I made my website be exactly that. It was pretty tough. <laughs> but we yeah, got to go. Yeah. And it looks great. And you can also get it uh, on, on your mobile phone. You get the nice mobile version too, which is cool. Yeah, it's really fun. I love it. It's looking great. Speaking of which, is something I forgot to tell you. If you have to, um, guys, if you have to go out or whatever, um, the, with 22 Social, we were able to have it on on our uh, on your phone too. So I have it up. There's a little bit of a delay uh, because right now we're also streaming on YouTube. So uh, what happens is there's about a 45 second delay from the time you hear it to the time maybe you're putting your comments in. Uh, but this is this is Danielle, as you can see. This was you talking a couple of minutes ago. So uh, very cool that you can see these things on your phone. Let's go over some of the uh, some of the chat a little bit. We've got oh Kirk answered you. He said he loves you too, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. Kirk Short, and uh, we've got uh, oh hi mom. My mom's watching from Hudson, New Hampshire. Oh hi mom. Yeah yeah. <laughs> cool, My uh, John John says um, okay. I'll just read the question. Uh, he asked Danielle, how much did Salvador Dali influence your work? He's at the Royal Kona Resort right now. Yeah, you know, I've actually heard that a lot lately. Um, I definitely studied that in art history, but it wasn't something that when I saw him, I was like, oh, man, you know, I want to see if I can go that route. It was just kind of, um, it just started happening. I don't I don't even know if I planned it or, or what, but the last two that I did, um, one's called Tide Push, and then the last one, uh, Paid in Waves, everyone, you know, made this uh, reference to Salvador Dali, and it was just, a huge compliment, but um, no, I don't think that it was like an influence. It was definitely in the back of my mind, but I think the paintings kind of, you know, took shape of that in a small way that people see. I don't think I'm like on that same wavelength, but you know, I guess that's a great compliment, and it's pretty powerful for sure. Nice. And uh, good question, John. Appreciate that. If you have um, comments, yes. But if you have questions, just like that, go ahead, put them in the chat box. I'll look over. I've got uh, the, the chat that you guys see uh, over here, and I'll be clicking through those and uh, as we go and asking all kinds of questions. So um, also Camille, my fiance is uh, is watching. So I'm really glad she's in. Uh, yeah, come well, and she's in the other room over there. So that's cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. And. Um, Let's, uh, let's look a little more on these questions here. All right, cool. So let's um, why don't we do this, guys? In the chat box, we're gonna give away the first print. And Danielle, I'll let you. Do um, you want to choose which print we're gonna give away first? Sure. Or, yeah. Okay. It's the, um, it's the water drives nature one. It looks like that. Yeah. 
Awesome. Very, very cool. All right, so that'll be the first one uh, that we're going to give away. And the way we're going to do it, I had Danielle pick a number between uh, 1 and 50. So if you uh, want to be eligible for uh, winning that print that she just showed you, then go down the, to the comment box and uh, put in a number between 1 and 50. And in a couple of minutes, what we'll do is I'll look through the uh, comments and I'll see the uh, if a couple of people do the number that uh, Danielle picked and the first one that puts it in, we'll get that. And if uh, no one actually picks the number she picked, then we'll get the closest one. It doesn't have to be going over or exclude you or anything like that, whichever's closest. Um, so cool, we'll do that. It'll take a couple of minutes. Um, for the chats to add up. So now, Danielle, why don't we get into, um, I'm really, really inspired by your story um, of, of what you've overcome in life to get to where you are. I mean, the way you told it to me, um, it choked me up, I mean, to, to tell you the truth, and you had to tell it to me in a couple of short minutes. So we have a few more minutes now uh, for you to go into the story. Could you please share that with us? Sure, yeah. Um... Well, when I was very little, I always had um, a problem in school with, like, paying attention and, you know, doing good on my um, tests. Like, I always knew the answers, um, but I just did not do well on tests because there were those bubble Scantron sheets. And, uh, you know, I told my dad, you know, he'd be like, we studied, you know this, what, you know, why are you doing this? And I just told him that it was just I couldn't figure out the letters. So um, back then it wasn't really, like... I don't know, dyslexia wasn't that big of a, I guess I didn't know about it as well as I do now, but I turned out to be really dyslexic um, to the point where my fourth grade teacher told me I would never, ever get past high school. Oof. So it was, it was a really, it was really um, hard. And I uh, went to school and studied and studied and studied and, you know, everyone, it was kind of like, um, when I was in school, it was like, oh, you know, that girl, she's got dyslexia, whatever that is. So... Then I had to deal with the kids, you know, and I was always, like, put outside in this little box, like, she's different from all of us, and of course kids can be pretty mean, so that was a really hard deal to, to deal with, but, you know, as time went on, I started doing really good in school, and I got a full scholarship to play soccer at Florida Southern College, and I got through college with honors, and graduated, and here I am, and I just decided that I was going to take the one thing I'm really, really bad at and use it to my advantage, and wouldn't you know what dyslexic people are, are actually really good artists. So I decided <laughs> I wasn't going to let anybody tell me that I couldn't do something. So so here I am. Yeah. Wow, very nice. So now the steps, was it something that um, you went to the doctors and they gave you, you know, had you do some tests or, you know, how did they diagnose it? Well, back when I was in school, it was kind of like um, it was a speech therapy class. It wasn't even a doctor. It was just a class. And you went and you literally wrote, like, the dog jumped over the fence or, you know, bees, bananas, and dogs all walked together. It was, like, everything that was really hard, like, sixes and nines, bees and Ds, left and right, you know, like, those kind of things were really, really tough for me. And, you know, even though I was able to, like, learn, it still challenges me to this day. Like, for example, surfing, I'll be out in the water and I'll say, um... You know, I'll be on the lineup and somebody will be paddling for a wave. Like, are you going to go left or right? And I'm like, oh, uh, just go. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because yeah. when you're surfing, um, it's switched around. So not only am I already dyslexic, but your left and your right are different from your left and your right when you're standing on shore looking at the wave. So that's, it's been, that's been pretty hard for sure. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, and it's, you know, my message um, with my paintings too is that like a lot of kids and a lot of, People are told that they can't do these things, but, you know, I come from a family where, you know, we work really hard and, you know, they have really higher standards of, like, what we do in our life. And it's, if anyone has a dream, if I can do it, anyone can do it, you know, and I just, I really try to push out there on my Facebook and, you know, to people who are, you know, working really hard at what they love is that just don't stop. You can do it. Because if I can do it, anyone can do it, you know, it's just. It's not power or anything. It's just having the strength and the wisdom to just push through, you know, the scariest parts of your life. And that's basically where you're tested. And if you can get over that, then you're going to make it. But if you fall, then you're going to get left behind, you know. That's kind of like how my family puts it to me. Like, better get your butt get going. It. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and you know, um, there have been some folks that have been uh, mentoring me. And uh, what they'll say is if you're 
ready to make a big decision or ready to, to leap to do something and it, it kind of turns your stomach a little bit, that probably means that it's the right thing to do at that point. Definitely. Absolutely. You know, and moving to Hawaii was one of those things for me. It was, you know, Hawaii's far from Florida and I don't know a soul, you know, like when I came here, I know like a couple people, you know, and, and that scared me to death. But then trying to be an artist and trying to surf and trying to do all these things and make a whole new life, whole new people in it was a real challenge and that scared me to death but I knew that I had to do it and I'm so thankful that I did. So it's it's been a really beautiful journey since I got here. It's been like one of those like you did the right thing moves, you know. Oh uh, yeah. Now as far as um We'll get into the uh, giveaway, the print in just a second. You, um, when you moved, or since you've been here on island, uh, have you pretty much lived uh, in Kona or you in the outskirts of Kona the whole time, or have you moved around a little bit? No, I've lived in Kona the whole time. I've lived in different places, like um, I lived in Kalakehe, and then I came down to the beach. But now I live down um, by the beach in the Sunset area, and it's beautiful. I have like a really nice like yard and can see the ocean, so it's like not so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I love your ba backdrop. When we were, uh, you know, planning how we were going to do this uh, during the week, and I saw your uh, your backdrop there. It's uh, pretty amazing, and it's it, nice greenery behind you. And is your cat still sitting up there? Yeah, she's up there. Let's see. Let me move this. There she there is. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. She's so cute. She's so stoked. She gets to sit up there, and the wind blows, and she's so happy. Here, it's one of those. It's, okay, it's one of those things where you see him on Facebook, and somebody puts a picture and says, "You know, you when you see it, you'll see it." And now, now that uh, everybody knows your cat's back there, especially since you moved that uh, plant, that everyone's gonna know she's there. You see her tail hanging down. So <laughs> very, very cool. Awesome. All right, what do you say we give away the print? You ready? All right. Sounds All good. Right. So, uh, Danielle picked number 13, and uh, as we are looking through the comments here, it looks like the closest one is Melody. Melody, congratulations. Aww. Yeah, Melody uh, was closest at, at 17, and uh, nice. as far as uh, the comments that I'm seeing here, so yeah, congratulations, Melody. And uh, so, Melody, do me a favor. We're, we'll do this for the second one, too. We'll give it away uh, in about 10 minutes. Uh, Melody, if you want to put in the, um, the chat what you would like Danielle uh, to put to sign it she'll sign it right here right on the uh, right on the video and uh, sign it for you so let us know and in a couple of minutes Danielle then we'll uh, we'll be able to see that see what you would like us and uh, you can sign it right in front of everybody right. so, yeah. Thanks, That's yeah awesome. congratulations so we'll do it again in a little bit um, uh, thanks everybody again for coming we really really appreciate you being here we're both you um, know I know I'm speaking for Danielle a little bit but uh, I know uh, everything she's been saying uh, leading up to this is, uh, you know, I'm really humbled for you guys to be here. And um, Danielle, uh, well, let me ask you, are you, are you appreciative? I'm extremely appreciative. I mean, like I said, getting this, getting just this opportunity is huge, and then having people actually want to like see makes me feel really excited. Very lucky. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very cool. I mean, and we thank everybody for coming. So, looks like we've got uh, a couple more questions. Roger in Ottawa, Canada, uh, he says, "Has social media helped you significantly in your business up to this point?" Yes, I mean that's. I always try to explain this to Sam because um, he doesn't really like the internet. But I think had it not been for my Facebook and Instagram, I don't think I would have gotten it out to the world because I could literally put something up and I have a lot of people in Brazil that really like my work for the colors and things like that but I can literally put a painting on and then two seconds later somebody across the world sees it or in Japan or whatever so that definitely social media is actually probably everything you know like everything that um, I have is due to social media which is you know <laughs> it's some people don't like to admit that but it's definitely the you know the vessel. <laughs> yeah, and and it's another avenue of putting yourself out there and and saying, oh wow, you know, am I going to do this? You know, and in, in a few minutes, I know you agreed to um, to show how far you've come on your your newest uh, painting, and uh, that's putting it out there too because it's not finished and you've never done that before. 
Yeah, I've never showed anyone um, a painting with the exception of like Sam and like a few people will come over and drop off surfboards or something like that. But no, I usually don't show off paintings until they're like completely done. It's like a fear of mine, but I'm, I am all for confronting fears. <laughs> <laughs> and and just uh, yeah. so you guys know, I said, no, you don't have to do it. I'm not asking you to do it if you don't want to. And she was like, nope, nope, I definitely want to do it. Um, and I think going along with uh, something you were saying a few minutes ago, Kirk says, but you have to admit that you do have built-in skills that really do help you, your positive attitude. Uh, it only makes it better. That's what Kirk said. Aw, Kirk, you're awesome. Yeah, it's definitely um, attitude is a huge part of, you know, Somebody once told me, my agent from Ninth Wave told me that um, people really aren't buying your art. They're buying you and your art and the experience of who you are. It's like a package deal, you know. So um, I think just from growing up and everything and just the people I've met in my life and people like Kirk, like having a positive attitude and knowing you can do it. You know, the people that I meet who are positive, I want to help them more and I, I love them more and I care about them more and they leave more an impression on me. So yeah, attitude and, and your positive outlook and it's contagious. So it's like it shows in your work, it shows in your life and then it comes back to you full fold. So definitely, yeah. Nice. Definitely yeah, a positive no, attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Nice, good comment uh, there, Kirk. So yeah, if you have any other questions, guys, uh, if you came on a little bit late, there's that uh, comment stream down below. So there's a little bit of delay from when you know uh, we say something, you hear it. So go ahead and put any questions in. We've got probably about 15 more minutes. Um, we're gonna stop definitely by four o'clock. Um, you can go ahead and put the questions in or any comments, and uh, we'll give away another print in a couple of minutes. But Danielle, we get a message back from Melody, and uh, are you ready to sign what she? Is asking? You know it. Awesome. Okay, first of all, she said, wonderful and exciting. She would like it to say, um, well, let me tell you the whole thing. I don't know if that's going to influence how you put it on there as far as like spacing and everything, um, but what she wants is uh, to Melody dash keep sharing the whispers and then sign it. Oh, that's cute. Okay, to Melody. Yeah. I will. Melody is CEO... Uh, what is that? I didn't know if she wanted it on the front or the very back. Probably in here. I'll do it on the front. Okay. okay yeah. yeah. Keep the whispers. Uh, yeah. Two should... melody. Uh, M E L O D I E. M E L O D. Okay. Keep sharing the whispers. Aww. And Melody is CEO and founder of Whispers in Motion. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Nice. Can't wait okay. to see it. Let's see. And then, of course, I had to, I had to include all my love. Awesome. Very cool. There it is, Melody. That's yours. And uh, I will be in touch uh, with Melody, and I'll uh, get her uh, information, and then we'll uh, definitely get the – we'll – We'll definitely get that out to you, Melody. Awesome. So why don't we do this then, Danielle? How about, since there's a little bit of a delay, uh, we'll do our second contest for the second print, and then uh, okay. once we get that going, then you can show your uh, your painting? Okay, great. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so why don't you um, – I have myself on the screen right now. They can't see you, so why don't you get ready with that, uh, with, okay. your, with your painting. And then, uh, guys, go ahead, and uh, we're going to do it uh, again. Um, actually, yeah, we're going to do between uh, uh, 1 and 50. I chose a number. I was going to have her choose uh, – Danielle choose another number, but she, uh, she told me to. So I chose a number. It's a different number yeah. than uh, – than uh, what Danielle chose, but a uh, number between 1 and 50, go ahead and put that in the chat, and uh, in a few minutes we'll uh, look at all the ones, and again, the, the way it works is uh, the first person to hit the number correctly will win the print, and if nobody actually hits the number, then uh, the closest one will win, so I'm watching uh, Danielle right now, I'm watching her backdrop, and she's getting ready with the, uh, 
It's a it's a brand new painting. She was hoping to have it done by today, and it didn't quite happen that way. And she's doing something she's never done before. She's displaying a, a painting that is not quite finished yet. So, okay, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, you sure? Yeah, I'm totally okay. ready. Here we go. Are we on? We are on. Okay, so here is, let me... Just the very, um, there's a lot to go still, but here. That's there it so is. Far. Wow, look at that. And that just goes to show you guys how humongous that painting is. And she had to, she had to go quite a ways away from the, uh, from the camera to show you. So that's what she is working on now. Um, can I ask, does it have a name? It does. Um, it'll be called, uh, it'll be called, um, the wild card seventh ghost. It doesn't make any sense yet, but it will. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> the wild card seventh ghost. Um, the the wild cards seventh ghost, like ghost, like ooh, ghost. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. ooh, I like ghosts. I love that. Ooh, I can't wait to see the finished product. Wow, thank yeah. you, Danielle, for showing us that. That's awesome. You're so welcome. No problem. Awesome, awesome, cool. All right, so let's go uh, look at some of the comments here. Roger like said, uh, oh, what, what was that? No good. I said you will be able to see it. I have a few um, events that I'll tell you about before we leave today that um, you'll be able to see the finished product on or on my Facebook, but yeah. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so Roger said, um, this is great. Thanks for sharing with us, Danielle. Uh, Melody said, thanks so much, loving it, and she loves that, and okay. uh, we have some guesses. Let's give a couple more questions uh, to catch up with the, uh, with the contest, with the numbers, um, and why don't you, if you want to, why don't you go over uh, the events that you were starting, to, that you were just uh, hinting to? Okay, yeah, definitely. Well, there's a, there's a list of really fun things. Um, but one um one of them that's going to be really special is uh, I'm going to be working on a film with um, Sean Silva and he is um, has his own company called Sil Visuals. Um, he makes amazing documentaries about really talented people um, that surf here on the Big Island. But uh, he has agreed to help me do a really special project. So that's going to be um, that's going to be a huge a huge thing going on. And he's so talented that's kind of like one of those things where it's like when you actually get to work with these people you're almost like kind of starstruck by it you know so it's it's a pretty awesome thing so that when that comes out we'll definitely share it with you guys um, the Kona Film Fest is coming up where my artwork will be uh, Chad Campbell he's been putting that together for years but this is grown into this huge thing that people around the world love to come to um, I'll be going to the North Shore uh, in December for the Triple Crown Pipeline contest to do a mural with San Lorenzo um, where we'll talk about having doing a line of bikinis with uh, some art on them. Um, then there is an auction at Meld Gallery coming up that uh, will feature a bunch of local artists and my art and my newest painting will be there for sure. And, uh, and then also just working with uh, one of the most Brilliant photographers out there, besides Kirk, uh, is Sarah Lee. She does really beautiful underwater um, photography, and she really captures the reason why somebody like me is so in love with what I do and why I love the ocean. So if you go to my website, you'll see that all the pictures on there are from her. And she's actually, um, I think she won People's Choice for like one of the best photographers around, and she's a young girl. So... She wow. inspires me because she's going after her dreams no matter what. So I kind of yeah. like see her and feed off. But yeah, so there's are some really awesome things going on. Very nice. Cool. Now you mentioned your website. A couple of things, the green button below the chat, um, especially if you're on a computer watching below the uh, the chat, you'll see the green button, uh, or actually just above the chat below the video. If you're on your phone, it's taking up the full screen, so uh, you would hit uh, click done and um, or whatever it is on your phone. You can see the, the green button. That'll take you to her website. But what is the website anyway? It's www.daniellezirk.com. So daniellezirk.com. Got it. All right. 
Very, very cool. And I just want to uh, say a couple of things before we uh, choose our winner. Uh, I was telling you that uh, I, I, I hope to do this uh, weekly talk show. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can go to my page. Uh, that You'll see it all over. I mean, you guys were all invited to this event. So uh, let me know if you want to nominate somebody to come on, and we'll check them out. We'll give a talk to them. Also, um, you know, these, these hangouts and uh, video streams is definitely something that I'm doing more of, and they can help businesses too. So if this is something you know a business that could uh, that could utilize uh, a hangout even if it's something that isn't necessarily a talk back and forth like this if it's something that I could produce for you and you could bring your audience and uh, sell something or promote something Google Hangouts are really great for that, and they're a little bit clunky. As you can tell, we came on 13 minutes late, so they're a little bit clunky, so having a, a producer is always a good thing, so that's definitely something if you want to get in touch with me about that, or if you want some more information on the uh, on the app, the 22 Social app, uh, it's really cool, and this is one use for it. Um, it it's very, very cool. You could uh, get in touch with me on that, too. So, Danielle, you ready to see uh, who won the second print? And what, what, I'm going to put the camera on you. Why don't you put the, uh, the Prints up there. And what's up for grabs here? <laughs> it's the same one as the other oh, one. Okay, same one. It's one of my best sellers, so it's great. Like, yeah, awesome. Wait. Very cool. All right. So then let's go over the. Um, let's go yeah, over I'm the just left it on one way. <laughs> Well, and that's the thing too. What ends up happening with the uh, with the video is everything's backwards. What you're seeing is a little bit backwards. You actually, can I share what you said to me on Monday when we were uh, testing yeah. this out? Sure. You, when you when you put up uh, your your lower third, that part on the bottom there that uh, that tells you who you are, it was backwards, and you said. Keith, is it backwards to you? Is it? Am I supposed to see it backwards? Because I'm <laughs> dyslexic, and it was it was such a, a great moment. So it was it loosened me up a little bit uh, in talking about it too. So thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't tell him like, is this an episode or is this normal? <laughs> right, right. Okay, so I got you on the camera. Oh, what was that? Oh, I was just gonna say I have a list a mile long of people that I could recommend to you who would be amazing. For your show. Awesome. Cool. Cool. I love that. That's a, the only networking is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So now we're looking at uh, the numbers here. The closest number, I picked number 32. So the closest number to that, it looks like, is Kirk Short. Yeah, Kirk Short. Congratulations, dude. You won that. So uh, we've got a couple of minutes. If you could, Kirk, uh, type in what you would like, uh, Danielle. Uh, and, and I know you guys, um, you, you live in the same city, in the same town of Kona. But uh, if she can sign it for you right in front of us, that would be awesome too. So, Kirk, why don't you go ahead and uh, put in the comments what you would like, Danielle, how uh, to sign it. Very, very cool. And, uh, yeah, congratulations to Kirk. <laughs> you okay? I heard, yeah, I think it was um, a turkey landed <laughs> on my roof or something. I heard that. I heard that. That's hilarious. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll just be sitting out here. I'll be painting. Then you see this, like, humongous person-like creature, like, flying across the sh thing. And you're like, what is that? And you're like, I don't know. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I lived uh, when I first moved here. I lived in Popeye Co, so um, it was a little bit uh, not as jungly, but a little bit jungly in the in the backyard, which was pretty cool. It's pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, there we definitely have wildlife out here. Nothing like in Florida. No panthers or bears, but definitely some turkeys and crazy creatures. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. So while we're waiting for Kirk to uh, to to put what you would like, or if he's probably putting it in, but wait for it to come up. Um, what do you have planned for the holidays? Oh well, uh, let's see. I think Thanksgiving I'll probably be working at Lava Java, which is the other. That's my other deal. Is I work pretty much full time as an artist and a waitress um, because I'm you know we do this ourselves, so we don't really have too much help. But I'm probably going to be waiting tables. Um, on Thanksgiving, but then I'm going to be going to Maui to visit Sam's awesome family nice. and hang out with them for Christmas. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Very, yeah. very cool. They're great cool, people. Cool, cool. Kirk yeah. said he's getting a lot of airtime. <laughs> I know. Yay, Kirk. This is just well, the start. It, <laughs> right. I know, right? Yeah. Um, well, Kirk, it, it, it's being doubled because of the fact that you won. You picked the right number, which is uh, good Good for you. Serendipity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. 
But um, yeah, it hasn't caught up to where um, he's put what he how he wants you to sign it. So we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, I, I really want to thank you for um, coming on, Danielle. And um, I know your uh, your schedule is. Um, if I had your schedule, I definitely wouldn't be able to. Um, I'd have too much going on. You are amazingly busy. You said you work at Lava Java on an E-Drive. Yeah, that's right. I work at Lava Java. Basically, my, my normal day is I get up at like 7 in the morning. I run for an hour or two, and then I'll surf, and then I'll go to work, and then I'll come home and paint. Or I'll paint first and then work all night and then do the whole thing over and over again. And then, of course, social media and... You know, it's it's wonderful, but it's very tiring sometimes. But yeah. so for everybody out there, if I don't return your calls right away, don't get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, your voicemail uh, box is full. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I know that's bad. <laughs> it's, it's, I feel really bad, but everyone's like, "You don't care," and I'm like, "I promise you, I love you to death. I just can't get to my phone." Or you know how it is. I feel bad. I'm like, "Keith, don't give up on me. I'll call you in five minutes." And then two hours, I'm like. Don't give up on me. I'll call you another five minutes. <laughs> I loved it when you said um, you said uh, I, I'm on a run, and uh, I definitely I promise you I will call you when I get back. And he did. He did. I know. I was like I'm running, but I'll call you as soon as I get home. <laughs> yeah. I was like sweaty and everything, walking up, and my neighbor's like, "Are you okay? Are you calling someone? You need help?" And I'm like, "No, no, no. I'm talking on the phone to <laughs> to <a> radio producer." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, I want to say Rose. Rose commented, um, "You create such amazing works, Danielle. I'm stoked you're getting it out there. Can't wait to see the bikini line. Much love." Oh, Rose. Thank you. I really appreciate it. That's so sweet. Is that the rose? I think that's the rose that I'm going to be um, doing a painting for. I think maybe. Rose uh, Shilto. Maybe not. That's a new rose. I love the new rose. That's all. Awesome. Uh, it's this server at Island Lava Java, so maybe this. Oh, is it is. Nice. It is. Yes, I'm working on. It. Maybe I shouldn't say anything. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's funny because as I said that, I'm like, oh, 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 maybe I shouldn't have said anything. No, 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 <laughs> no. It's because it's I'm doing something for her, and um, yeah, it's kind of a secret, so I should probably. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know uh, what we're gonna do now. Kirk did put what uh, what to sign it with. So he says, uh, sign it with the best of both worlds. L U V Danielle. Aww. You know, a funny thing about Kirk really fast is I always call him my son. I'm like, oh, son, I'm so proud of you, and everyone's like, what? Right? Is this your son? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's my son. <laughs> All right. So, um, sorry. My the dislike. best of both worlds. Okay. Best of both worlds. Okay. And then L U V for love, Danielle. So love, Danielle. Exclamation point. Nice oh. one, Kirk. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, Kirk. Awesome. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Signed by the artist herself. And of course, yeah. I put my son at the bottom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I would like to uh, thank everybody for uh, tuning in today. This was fantastic. I will tell you now that Google Hangouts and, and even other video formats, there are a few others uh, that are coming up behind Google Hangout that uh, might take it in the direction of uh, a direction that Google doesn't want to go with it. But, um, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, what are these Google Hangouts? And these are becoming huge. So if you want to find out more about uh, Google Hangouts and uh, strategies in producing them, definitely, definitely get in touch with me because they are going to be huge and be major sponsors on these things and you definitely want to be a part of that with the Google Hangout. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it. This streamed on YouTube, it's still going to be available on YouTube. If you want to go back and watch it, if you tuned in late, as a matter of fact, you tuned in late and you still have a few minutes, you can literally rewind it like a DVR, go right back to the beginning so you can see the whole thing. Um, I'll keep it on this page on mine. Um, so we'll, we'll make sure uh, afterwards we'll get it out there as far as uh, when you want to go back and find it. So I'll keep it right where it is right now. You can go back and watch it at any time. You can share it. You can recommend it. You can like it. 
anything you want to do to uh, to let your friends know about it because what ends up happening is three four times the amount of people see it afterwards because it's archived and Danielle I really want to thank you I have been honored to have you on thank you for sharing your your prints sharing your uh, new painting can't wait to see it finished uh, going out of your own comfort zone and uh, thank you so much for coming on no thank you for having me and you know you're doing the same thing you're going after something that's really you know important to you and doing these things so when I met you too in the studio it was really cool because you actually genuinely cared you're like oh my gosh so it's really nice. It's always nice to like meet other people who have like this definite um, passion for like living and doing things. So, no, it's been an honor for me to come on here. <laughs> Awesome. awesome. Very cool. So thank you so much, Danielle. Thank you to everybody for watching. And uh, next week, next week, I'm hoping to have uh, Mark Yamanaka on, uh, musician, uh, award winner. And we're looking to have Mark Yamanaka on. So keep uh, keep in touch with my page, and you'll find out more about that. And Kirk, definitely want to have you on a future show. Thank you to everybody. And Danielle, thank you so, so much for being on with me. Yeah, no, thank you. I'll be I'll be tuning into your shows for sure and I'll be writing little comments. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Danielle. Thanks everybody. All right. Aloha. Thank you everyone. Bye. Bye.